Uh, my name is Ann Wheeler, uh, Chair-elect for Prince William County. Thank you all for coming out today. We're hoping to introduce some of our new board members and some of our existing ones, as well as answer questions about our vision for the county going forward. Um, change has come to Prince William County. The voters are here. I'm grateful for the voters electing me chair, and I'm also grateful that they saw that we had a vision of, you know, a vision, inclusivity, and integrity for our county going forward. And I think that resonated with the voters yesterday in a, in a large way, so I'm grateful for that. You know, we are all here to work for, for Prince William County residents. You know, we care about public safety. We care about our schools. We care about transportation and transit. And we also care about economic development. Um, this is, at the moment, a partisan conference, I'll say, but this will be the last partisan conference we'll really have because local government is bipartisan and it really always should be. Um, I want to start by congratulating Peter Canlin uh, in the Gainesville District. Um, Peter beat me 11 years ago for the Gainesville seat, um, but I was, I was really grateful to carry Gainesville yesterday. I'd also like to congratulate Janine Lawson and Yesley Vega for Brentsville and Coles. Um, I was grateful to carry those, and, and what, what that tells me is that the voters are okay with mixed bipartisan leadership across our county because we're really all, we really want all the same things. Um, the good news for me is if you look at the campaigns, we do all want the same things. When, when everyone was out, Republican or Democrat campaigning, everyone wants stronger schools. That was across the board. Um, everyone wants to preserve open space, and we're going to do that going forward. Uh, everyone is also interested in fixing our roads as usual, and we will all work together as a board to do that. And last but not least, uh, we, everyone um, in their campaigns talked about economic development and bringing true economic development to Prince William County, and that will be on our agenda going forward. Uh, the vision that voters believe we can work together, and I have a vision that we can all do that really well. Um, at this point, I want to uh, hand it off to uh, some of my, you know, running mates and, uh, and, and, and people who are, we've all been together for a bunch of months doing this, um, and it's been a wonderful ride. I want to start with our current city board member, Victor Angry of the Neapsco District. All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. So, here we are uh, on another new day. It was just, what, six, seven months ago that I was standing in this room standing in this room, swearing in uh, to win a special election. I do want to thank my current board because they have taught me so much in the last seven, eight months about the county, about this process. Uh, and, and my county staff, you know, that's all around me. So it was a vision of mine to get out and meet everyone so they could understand how I operate and I could understand how they operate and understand the county as well. The biggest thing I learned through that process and what I heard from a lot of folks, even constituents, and a lot of the cases and the citizens time coming to the dais on Tuesday is that there's an issue of trust. And so the thing that my biggest focus here has always been that we need to get back to trust. And that's why I said first, I trust my county staff, right? I trust that the job they're doing is a job that's right for this county. And this board that we have before us today that's going to be taking effect in 2000, is going to be a board of trust. So that's the one thing that I need for all of our constituents to rally behind, because we're gonna have issues that we have to address, but we need to do those collectively as a team. And I'm very excited about this opportunity right here going forward, you know, under some of the backbone of what got me to these last eight months of being in this position now, that we're gonna do greater, bigger and greater things. So thank you. that's coming about in our community. I want you to know that I echo what my colleagues have said before me, especially Victor, about the trust. I tell you, I've worked with all of these individuals that standing here with me today, and I know that they are colleagues of quality. They're colleagues that care. They are equipped. And I tell you, we're gonna do a great job when we come collectively as a team on that day to serve you. And so I come before you today saying thank you. Thank you for coming out and empowering us to serve. 
to serve at a greater level and a higher level, to truly make Prince William County the greatest county here in the state of Virginia. So, help us. Help us to do good. When we're not doing good, tell us. Tell us what we need to do to be better. And then at the end of the day, fellowship with us. Engage in the political process, not only, but in the community process. To make us be brighter and better, to roll over the next generation of what's to come. And so I come before you today saying I gratefully and humbly accept this responsibility for accountability for this county. So for my friend Ann Wheeler, I will follow you. Because the greatest leadership that you can have as a leader is to know how to follow. And so for my other colleagues, thank you for allowing me to stand by you. And for those that are not here in a bipartisan way, we look forward to working with you. Thank you for this opportunity. Voting from the Aquaquan District. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, county staff. Thank you for everything that you do to keep our community moving forward every single day, both seen and unseen. We have an opportunity after this election to show what our values are as a community. Four years ago, when this very same election cycle took place, the turnout was only about 26, 27 percent. That means only one in four voters in this county got to choose who led the way forward. Last night, we had a closer to 40 to 45 percent. That's almost half, but that's still not nearly enough people involved in the political process. When we talk about truly representing our community, we're talking about getting everyone involved. Because when it comes to moving our community forward, there's no spectators, there's no bench sitters. Everyone needs to be in the game 100% of the time. So to echo some of what my colleagues have already said, this is only the very first step. The election is the election. When it comes to governing and being true representatives of our community, we need that community involved every step of the way. So looking at my race especially, I will be honest, it was a very close race. And that shows that there's still a lot of folks in the district that believed that the, the, my predecessor was doing a good job. And she did serve our community well. But that means that we also need to move forward together in a bipartisan manner. So I'll be speaking to every single supervisor living currently in, that, in those seats, those that have come before. Kathleen Seafelt, one of my predecessors. Mike May, one of my predecessors, was a Republican. F. Mark, Marty Noe. Every single person that we can touch who has some inkling of knowledge, some wisdom to share, some nugget of what came before us so we can build on that foundation because we know going in there there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge that has gone out of that door for one reason or another and we would be remiss if we did not serve our community fully by ignoring everything those that did came before who came before us so as we move forward i call upon each and every one of you to stay involved know that the next four years will be another defining moment in this county's history. Because we can go from being, oh, we're gonna do some of what Fairfax does, what some of Falk here does, what some of Stafford does, to everyone looks to us to be the leaders, that shining beacon for the Commonwealth that we know we can be, because we are the most diverse community in Virginia. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate the, the, this moment, and I look forward to working with all of you. of the Woodward District Supervisor-elect. Well, uh, first of all, thank you all for being here. Uh, thank you, uh, Ann Wheeler, for um, really being the leader um, uh, of our party and of this county and helping us to move forward together. Uh, I also want to first start by thanking my staff. 
uh, Brenda Madrina Frias for really um, being there from day one and helping us push forward, um, both in our primary and now in our general, and also Ashley Roseboro who helped to manage the race. So uh, thank you to the staff. Also want to say um, hello to our county staff and to let you know that I'm looking forward to working with you all, looking forward to meeting you all. Uh, people ask me, am I ready? I said, I've been ready. It's been a year. I'm ready to get to work, I'm ready to start on day one. But let me tell you that I am excited about what's to come. Uh, my campaign slogan was, together, a new start. Uh, and what that means is really starting over, looking at our priorities, figuring out uh, where the challenges have been and how can we take them from point A to point B. Uh, I'm excited about those uh, changes that came last night. I'm excited about my colleagues who I'll be working with. Um, but, you know, we have a lot of work to do. You know, this won't be easy. Uh, it won't be fast. We have to be realistic and set priorities. Um, but I think we can do that if, A, we work together, both Democrats and Republicans, uh, and if we really have a full vision of what this county should be. Um, so we have to start with each other. Um, and I think, like my campaign slogan, together we have created a new start. We're ready to get to work, and you all can trust us. So thank you.